Weekly Astrology for January 16th through the 22nd, 2022. Seriously, are you taking time to rest and recharge? We talked about it last week. We're going to talk about it again this week. It's very important to take time during this Mercury retrograde to rest and recharge mentally, physically as well, but it's more about the mental health aspects of your life right now. This is even more important because this week than it was last week because we're feeling a lot of heavy transits this week, and I really want you to give yourself permission to rest. If you have to tell yourself that rest is productive, please do. <laughs> do whatever it takes to take that time to rest and to not feel guilty about it. That's not to say you shouldn't and can't still make consistent progress right now. You will make progress if you're well and rested mentally. So it's kind of a balancing act here between your progress and your rest. And if you haven't already learned this lesson, please take the time to learn this lesson. Now is about the time where our intentions from this previous Capricorn new moon that we had a couple of weeks ago, they're starting to take off. These intentions are starting to manifest or they're getting ready to pivot. That's kind of the energy we're feeling right now. So don't resist that transformation if that is what's happening. And don't tell yourself lies that prevent you from receiving blessings from the universe, otherwise known as limiting beliefs. We talk about that a lot on my podcast, that I don't want you to give in to the manipulation of your limiting beliefs because they just simply are not true. <laughs> and that is becoming even more apparent right now during this week when all these heavy, questionable energies are happening right now. Limiting beliefs will destroy your potential. That's just the way that it is this only means good things for you if you are actively working to acknowledge them and let them go, especially with the full moon coming up here. Throwing away stories that aren't serving your highest good might seem scary because they we perceive them as being comfortable, but they're actually not comfortable. They're causing us even more disease in the long run because our ego mind has tricked us to think that our limiting beliefs are keeping us safe and sturdy, but they're actually not. Um, and letting go of these limiting beliefs and stepping into our power is only perceived as scary and unsafe when really there is nothing more safe that you can do than empowering yourself. Giving away, away your power and telling yourself lies and stories that aren't true is way more unsafe than giving yourself your power back. So tell your ego mind that if you're struggling with that sort of limiting belief disempowerment. So let's talk a little bit about the full moon in Cancer. Cancer is a sign of emotions and connections and intuition. With all the other cosmic energies swirling around right now, we're likely going to get a sudden knowing of what we need to release. We'll be ready to do it. We'll be ready to let it go. And that is thanks to Venus retrograde right now. <laughs> so say thank you to Venus. Thank you, Venus. <laughs> Think back to all those limiting beliefs that are coming up to you right now, especially as they relate to your businesses and your work, your career, and your relationships within that chosen career of yours. These are being pulled to the surface by the gravity of the full moon so you can let them go, not just so you can wallow in their pain. It's being pulled to the surface so you can keep pulling them out of your body and out of your life forever for good. These things are not serving you. And the sooner that you're able to let them go, the sooner you can actually keep making progress, which is what Capricorn wants to do. And Cap Capricorn is ruling this month right now. So if you feel like you're being stuck, just let go of those limiting beliefs. So you'll be amazed at how much further you can go when you're not telling yourself lies. You'll likely experience other heavy emotions coming to the surface this week that are ultimately aren't serving you. But the key here is to be gentle when letting these things go, especially if these heavy emotions are related to the bonds you have with other people or the bonds that you don't have. If they're related to other people in some way, um, you really want to be gentle with these energies because we're working on working through these things while Venus is moving through its retrograde cycle for a little bit while yet. These could uh, manifest in current relationships or in past relationships. I know for me during this retrograde, Venus retrograde, I've been having a lot of dreams about past friendships that didn't end so well. And I feel as though we're kind of working through soul healing together in the dream world. Um, so that's just how it's manifesting for me. But it, it is difficult to let go of these old notions about them that caused our fallouts at the beginning, but it's ultimately more healing for me anyway. So that's just a little example I wanted to share. If there are any hard feelings, just let them go and move on. It's in the past, if whether it was yesterday or 10 years ago, like me, you're just holding on to those grudges and doing you any favors. 
So that is an excellent thing to release during this full moon in Cancer. So again, be gentle with yourself and your emotions. Allow yourself to deal with these emotions. Allow space for them. We only deal with our emotions, especially the heavy ones, as best as we know how to deal with them in that moment. Your emotions are valid regardless of your circumstances, regardless of where you are right now or where you've come from. Your emotions are absolutely valid in every aspect. And full moons, especially full moons in cancer, (laughs) really do teach us this important lesson. Give them the space that they deserve. Let them go because that's what you deserve. That's the theme of this full moon in Cancer right now. So the next big transit we have going on this week that might cause a little bit of tension is uh, Uranus going uh, direct in Taurus. And I only say it's going to cause a little bit of tension because that's kind of the nature of Taurus. But really, Uranus has been in retrograde for a long time since August. And it going direct might feel a little bit of a nice release, but Taurus tends to be really stubborn. So it's kind of a little bit of conflicting energy here. Uh, So you might feel a little bit of lightness this week. And if you do feel that, welcome that in. It'll feel really nice midweek especially among all the other heavy energies going on. Um, There have been a lot of major changes probably in your life since August, if I had to guess, or maybe a lot of major mindset shifts or aha moments or epiphanies of some kind. That's just kind of the nature of Uranus. And we've talked about it before. If you've been following our weekly astrology forecast, we talked about Uranus being in retrograde a lot over the fall because a lot of major transformational insights have been happening during that time. So, and you may have also noticed that there's been a lot of changes in the collective as well, Um, specifically in the realm of finance and business. This entire retrograde cycle has been about recreating humanity's relationship with money, with capitalism, and with our career choices, and um, kind of making the transition from being just dead inside worker drones to actually being fulfilled in your careers. Think about all the talk we've been having about minimum wage amounts. The great resignation is a term that's come up recently. Um, Anti-corporation movements and boycotts and all these sorts of things. um, That was Uranus retrograde at work, if you ask me. And any of these changes that have been made during this past fall are going to um, finally be stabilized, both on the individual level and the collective level. Um, Right, Whatever was started is going to be completed. Things are going to be... Um, rooted. They're, they're going to feel more concrete, especially if you started a new job or you start a new career path. These things are going to start feeling like you're gaining some footing. Um, this is kind of the stubbornness of Taurus coming out a little bit. Um, t- Taurus doesn't easily change its mind or come up with new ideas or that sort of thing. So be extra certain that you're moving in the right direction right now before things become really finalized and really difficult to change. Because Taurus likes things to be stable. Taurus is, um, plays devil's advocate a lot. So make sure you're headed in the direction career-wise that you want to be headed when Uranus goes direct in Taurus, because it's going to get reinforced regardless if you're in the direction you want to be going or not. So it's going to get reinforced. Just keep that in mind. All right. So it's another thing we're going to talk about here that we don't talk about often on my show anyway, are the lunar nodes changing signs. So the nodes are mathematical points in the sky that influence the energy we feel from the cosmos on a subconscious level. It's way more subtle than the energy of the planets, but the we feel them on a subconscious level nonetheless. The south node represents our roots and what we have to contribute to the world. And the north node is our destiny and the path we're meant to follow. So you can see how they nicely complement each other. Midweek, the south node is moving into the sign of Scorpio, the sign of secrets and mysteries. And the north node is going retrograde in Taurus, more stubborn energy here. This heavy energy is continuing this week. So until we adjust to it, It's going to feel kind of um, like there's a lot of weight on our shoulders, but that's okay because it's nothing that we can't handle. Uh, The South Node in Scorpio will expose a lot of motives and a lot of secrets, uh, particularly the ones uh, from major life events of our past. Uh, Whether they're your motives that are being revealed or the motives of others, it's going to require some reflection before we can really gain clarity on why things played out the way that they did. And this is the sort of work we're kind of being called to do with the South Node moving into Scorpio. And it's going to be a long, a long process. It's not going to happen just this week. Um, 
It's going to be something that we work on continuously until it moves signs again later on. The North Node going retrograde in Taurus is moving us to explore our true values and our true morals, uh, both collectively and individually. There's a lot of collective energy going on right now with a lot of Aquarius energy. So this North Node in Taurus is going to continue to help reinforce things that are changing in society. Again, the emphasis is on money and career and capitalism and business and all these things that are have been shaken up a lot during the last couple of years. This pandemic and the shutdowns have already triggered this sort of reflection and you're probably already either seeing it out in the world or living this experience as well. It will continue as the North Node goes through this retrograde cycle in the stubborn sign of Taurus. So in my opinion, these are positive things. So don't think that retrogrades are scary. Don't think that there's anything bad going on right now because this is just what needs to happen to rebuild things that haven't been working for us for a long time as a society because later this year, Pluto is... Or let me backtrack. The United States is going to have its Pluto return, meaning that Pluto hasn't been in the same sign since 1776, since America's birthday, essentially, is what you might have heard this already. Um, it's basically going to be challenging and destructing or destroying, rather, our entire financial system in the United States. So if you're in the United States, just kind of gear up for that. And the North Node going retrograde in Taurus in my opinion, is kind of preparing us for this sort of energy. So let's move on to the sun being in Aquarius, Aquarius season starting. Aquarius is the type of rebellious air sign that would steal from the rich and give to the poor. It's very future oriented and very socially conscious. Um, equality is really important here. And this energy aligns really well with the North Node going retrograde in Taurus. Uh, during this Aquarius season in 2022, we are gaining a lot of fresh insight on important social issues. We are intelligently considering all sides of the arguments and working towards solutions that are helpful to everyone. We don't want to be isolating certain groups of people, whether that is based on who they are or what they believe. We're, we don't want to be isolating people. We're trying to come to collective decisions that work well for everyone. There aren't any quick solutions, however. These are the types of problems that can't be solved in a day, a week, a month, or even a year. It's about creating a future without these issues rather than putting on band-aids. This is the hard, dirty work that needs to be done during this Aquarius season. We're exploring alternative approaches to things as a collective, personally as well, but more as a collective. We're asking, what if? And we're fearlessly pursuing the answer. There's much needed lightness in this Aquarius season that will keep us motivated and optimistic. Our intuition is telling us how to make the future brighter and what we can do to heed that call and how we are contributing on a personal level to the collective. So those are the major themes for this Aquarius season coming up. And that was your astrology forecast for January 16th through the 22nd, 2022. Thank you for listening. And if you want even more astrology awesomeness for the entirety of 2022, pick up your copy of the Energy Almanac using the link in the show notes below. This book is my favorite go-to astrology guide. It's absolutely perfect for beginners and for anyone who wants to integrate astrology into their daily, weekly, or monthly planning routine. You need it. Seriously, it's fantastic. Use the link in the show notes to get your copy today.